Hello everybody, this is Diane. I put in a hard day's work today, took down all the Christmas stuff at in the Hallmark department of Walmart and put up Valentine's. And I am ready now for some playtime. So I'm going to do a little bit more with these vintage photo digitals from Tailor Made Journals. She does still have these in her shop and it's, I think it's called Vintage Photos Ephemera or something like that, but I will link it. I did link it in the previous video. So if you didn't see the previous video, this is what we did yesterday. I used digital floral images that I had and um, bits of lace and fabric and just made little tuck spots and journaling cards with these vintage photos from Tailor Made Journals. So I want to work some more on some other types of things with these same these same um, digitals, but I thought about using them on glassine bags. And then I thought, well, why don't you use your jelly bean dye and make bags? So I've been at my, um, what's it called? The thing that... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, I've been cutting these bags anyway. I want to say Big Shop, but that's not right, is it? Yeah, it's a Big Shop. So, look at all the, all the bags I made. Some of these are not the right pattern for these kind of images, but <clears throat> I'll have them in my stash. So these I might be able to use, and I won't be doing all of these today, obviously. Look at the marbled ones. Aren't they cool? But these are not vintage enough. Maybe that one. And then while I was at it, I used my Tim Holtz stitch slots pocket die. Look at this one. I had this little scrap of scrapbook paper and this was this was using up scraps. This is all scraps. But I'm doing a French farmhouse theme journal pair of them so I can use those. These might these might work for the French farmhouse too. Alright so I have quite a few that I could use and then I did some of the stitched slots like I said. And I did a couple that I could use some of the masculine cards. So let's start with one of these. I think I'll have to use the smaller images. And I only cut or printed two or three pages of the small images, but there should be enough because there's um, 15 images on each page. Those are the small ones. Okay. So I think I'll just be using the small ones today because I think that's what I need for both these and those. Let's start with this. This is a piece of craft cardstock that has this really pretty pattern on it. And this is from the Paper Studio at Hobby Lobby, but I'm sure it's discontinued. I've had it for a long time and I'm pretty much, I think I, I might have one or two sheets of the paper left, but like I said, this was a scrap. I'm at my sewing machine because I don't know if I'm going to do any sewing on these, but I need to be over here if I am. So I'm going to use more, yesterday I just used um, the images of the ladies, but I have children and men too, so, but I think for this one I want to use a lady. Or a schoolgirl. That one's cute. I know it's brown against brown tones, but we will do something about that. I have fabric and lace and flowers that I can make make her pop with. You know what I mean? I, 
kind of like that with it. First try. Like I said, I've had a long day, and so I really don't want to fuss too much. I just want to have fun making these. Butterflies are actually a little too big. See if I have a smaller one. Oh yes, I do. These little tiny Tim Holtz ones. could maybe put a button on it later. I might put buttons on some of those later too. But for now, what I will do is just sew her to the lace and then I will, uh, yeah, I might as well just sew it to, to this sack before I glue it closed. Now someone commented on the video that I made yesterday that she liked those cards that I made and now she needs to get a sewing machine. And I really do like the look of stitching on some of these things, but I just want to say that you can glue. Glue, glue, glue. You don't have to have a sewing machine. So you can glue these down on a page and then put a tag in there, but the backs are pretty too. So you could just put it into a pocket or paper clip it to the edge of a page. I do like to glue the sacks down and then leave them as a tuck spot so you can put something behind. And that's a nice sturdy one so you could do it nicely with that. sack while I'm at it. There. I really like the way that turned out. Try another one. Let's try this one with a man on it. This is an old Stampin' Up! paper. And it's double sided, so that's nice. You get a little peek of it there. Now, I'm not going to use butterflies and lace on the man's 
tag and I didn't really on the man's embellishment but I didn't really think about what I would use so I didn't get anything out I could just put some muslin behind him for starters or this burlap so I don't want to cover up too much of that you want to be able to see the pretty I think that this one will end up going in a pocket because I really like that just don't want to hide it so let me trim this finished edge off so I can fray the burlap to make sure it's the size that I want first tiny bit off this end and then just pull some threads out. I probably don't need a pin to do this. It's such a loose weave. The threads pull out very easily. And then when I sew around it, it will keep more fraying from occurring. Now, let me look in my binder and see what else I might have that I could embellish it with. Something small. I already pulled a bunch of stuff out and have it sitting out here, but it was all kind of feminine stuff. This says urgent. If I can get it out. He's in uniform. He has an urgent mission. I might use that. and he's delivering an urgent message via airmail. cheesecloth. Can't use lace so I use cheesecloth. Thought I had little bits of cheesecloth in here. Well, look at this piece of fabric. Maybe I can use some of that. get a big piece of cheesecloth and cut a little piece off. This one's nicely coffee dyed. That's a really dark dye.
Maybe it's just too much. Okay, I like that. I think that adds just a little bit extra interest. You don't have to see all of it, or even most of it. All right, so I'm gonna sew these three pieces together and then I think the rest will be glued. thread wants to stick to my it's just staticky it's flying all over I'm gonna glue this together first because this just keeps wanting to pop out I really want to work on my French farmhouse journal, but I am just tired today. I want to work on that when I'm fresh. And playtime just helps me feel better. And that's what this is, playtime. But it's also useful because I'm building my stash. See how this all looks now. Yeah, I like it. I do like to make masculine journey journals sometimes. First couple times I made made a masculine journal, I wasn't sure how it would sell because most of the people that buy the journals are women, and probably most of the people that use the journals are women. But I have never had a problem. I've only made a few, but I've never had a problem selling them. In fact, I think one of the very first journals that I sold when I opened my shop was a masculine journal, and it was really fun to make. I really like this one. I like the double-sided bit that you can see there. So, on, well, this one is crapped, so that's fine, but I'll probably ink around that edge. I probably should have inked around the open edges before I put it together, but I wasn't thinking. But a lot of them have white on the back, so I would ink them before I close them. But I like both of these. Let's do one more and then we'll move on to the stitch slots pockets. So let's pick something different. Let's pick something with a little color. And that one's double sided too. And this one I won't have to ink, so I won't be wasting your time because it's double sided. I do like this, but I think this flowered side is more conducive to working with these photos. And you still get a peek of it right there. The die does score these flaps, but for some of them, I don't know about this one, but for some of them I doubled the paper and cut two at a time, and then, oh, I see the score mark. It's very faint. So one of the pieces didn't get a very good score. If I fold it that way, I could see the score line better from that side. That worked very nicely. And I can see the score line from this side. Okay. And 
I think I want to use this image right here. I've got some lily of the valley. Maybe that's too big. Yeah, that's pretty big. I keep wanting to grab this edging and then it's attached to a piece of shear. Let's try this piece. So I think what I'll do, if I use this yellow rose, I think I will have it come off the edge and then just trim it because I don't want it swallowing her up but I do like the yellow rose so I might just do that then I can have her down a little bit more okay let's do it Bit, and I'll have to backtrack and get the edge of it. This um, lace wants to curl up, so I'm going to sew it down to the bag and just sew that edge down. Fred's kind of driving me crazy today. my yellow rose. good like that so I'm just going to grab my scissors and trim that off. Make your pieces work for you. Trim them, 
add to them, build them together, whatever you need them to do. It's kind of a simple looking one, but I like it. I think I'll probably add a button somewhere to this, maybe. I don't know. They don't need to be too complicated. But when I add a button, I would want to put some thread through it, and I don't want to fuss with that on camera. So, If I decide to add more stuff to these, I'll show them to you in another video. But I hope that you are seeing how fun and fast these are any of these kind of embellishments. It doesn't have to be a sack. You could take a sack that you already have if you don't have the the die to make one or make your own and just cut it with pinking shears across the top or something. I like that one. So we've done three of these little sacks. Tag holders. Now let's see what we can do with a couple of these guys. I cut a bunch of them. So I have plaid and I have this black that's got a floral design on it. Polka dots. This one has a little bit of a parchment-y look. I've got peach. I've got this rust color. Pink and blue. So I want to try the plaid. And this is a double-sided paper so I can flip that over and use that and I would probably put a word there but I don't need to look for a word today but um, let's see I was thinking of putting this on a piece of cardstock and then like sewing it on and then filling it up and then then the cardstock stock itself would be attached to the page. So I could put something like that on it or something smaller and put him in, you know, so I can put things hanging off it if I attach it to something. Looking for a piece of cardstock that would work color wise. I think that would be good. Now I just have to access my paper trimmer. to be super big. So three and a half, will that work? I'm going to make it three and a half and then images can still hang off of this. Three and a half by four four and a half. Let's try that. I can trim it down more if I want to. But I think that'll be good. So let's try to remember three and a half by four and a half. I'm not good at remembering numbers. And I like that on there. Yes, that's all I need. I just need to attach it right now and then I can fill the pockets. I think I'll sew this on. I don't usually sew these on, but for a little added interest. There's a 
little angle on the corners. So I'm taking one stitch for the angle. Oh, I don't think you can even see me. I'm sorry. Whoops. The needle wasn't down. as I wanted it to be. And I will sew it to the card. like to put things in this very top because I'm afraid of this tearing and I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to go ahead and sew it down even though it's backed on something. I think I just want to secure that and then I'll just tuck things in the other slots. Usually when I glue it, just use this on a journal page, I glue that slot down so that you can't tuck anything in it. So this project is fun using um, my stash of some digital images, ephemera pieces, some scraps of paper, and also some tools. These two dies, the jelly bean bag and this. Okay, now I got some of these out of my binder. Just these uh, rectangular ephemera pieces. I never know what to do with them, but they're perfect for this, aren't they? So let's figure out how I want to decorate the edge of this. I think I'll put him in a pocket. What is this? It's like, oh, it's a Zeppelin, but it's angled. That's cool. So this is just on paper, so I would back this with something, but I might tuck that in there. This is a vintage calendar page with some sheep on it. Men and boys clothing. postcards, pharmacy, this is a stamp, I think. Maybe it's not a stamp, maybe it's a printable. <laughs> Those are too feminine. This is a receipt, bought of H.J. Jones, importer and raiser of chrysanthemums. typewriter. Okay, I'm not sure if I have anything small enough that I want to put here. Maybe I don't have to have anything hanging off the edge. I really don't want to fuss too much, but just look and see. Oh, I have a container of tiny bits, I think, but I don't know where I put it when I did my organizing. Yeah, this isn't it. And I'm not going to look for it now. 
wonder what I did with that. See, I organize stuff and get it put away, and then if I don't use it right away, I don't remember even having it, let alone where I put it. Let me look for some circles. I've got some words here. Okay, here are the circles. Maybe one of those. I don't like the light color of that, and it's slick, so I don't know if I could ink it. Maybe the music. We'll see. I guess that's all the circles. Oh, let's try that. I've got a balloon. And I saw a motor car. This one. There it is. Okay, let's. If these don't work, I won't fuss anymore tonight with that one. balloon. I like the balloon. I'm going to cut him, cut that with some scissors, textured scissors. Hmm. Well, let's just cut, cut it with this. some coffee dyed paper on the back because it's slick and it would be hard to write on it without it smearing. And I want you to be able to write on it, whoever, whatever journal I put this in, whoever ends up with it. It'd be nice to have something with a little bit of color. not glue this down yet because I want to ink around the edge and I'll ink around him. I'll probably ink around all of these things and then back the thin ones. But and then I'll, I'll put a word on here and then this will be ready to glue into a journal. Phew! That was more work than I thought it would be. Sometimes the masculine ones are hard. So let's do a pink one. Let's, whoop, <laughs> I'll do this one um, with a little girl. Look at her. She's very cute. So she'll be in there. All right, piece of card. So I just put it on white. Yeah, I 
think I'll just put it on white. And I believe it was three and a half by four and a half, am I right? Three and a half. That looks about right. Except it didn't cut all the way through. By four and a half. That looks about right. Might as well cut another one while I'm at it. I'm going to ink that right now. When you get this um, set of photos from tailor-made designs, or tailor-made journals, um, you get a lot of pages. I can't remember how many pages it is. And I've got all of these and I still have some downstairs that I haven't cut and I didn't print them all. So you get a lot of images and they don't, and her kits are not expensive. So I told her that I was making stuff with these images and that I was linking her shop. So maybe she'll see an increase in sales of this digital kit and maybe some other things too because I also have, uh, it's like, they're kind of like cigarette cards, the shape of them. Let me show you. And I'm pretty sure they're from her. And again, you get a lot. These. These um, pockets, are th they have a lot of them in each pocket. Because I had so many, I couldn't separate them. So they're just nice, small images of ladies that you can use. And I've used some. Her, her kits are very generous. She's a very talented lady. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> it's my phone ringing. Okay, sorry about that. It's right in my pocket and it made me jump. So now I'm using, these are cut from the same cardstock, but once I ink around them, it stands out enough. And I like that. I don't, sometimes I use a contrasting little label there, but I like to um, use the same one a lot of times. So I'm just going to sew these together right now. I'm going to glue this on this time, but I will sew the, this to the card. Okay. 
this um, pocket is called stitch slots because it has the slots and um, you it, if you could see it up close it looks like there are stitches around it because of the um, embossing that it does as it cuts but I'm kind of stitching over that So they really are stitch slots. Now for this, I can put a flower down here with no problem. Or even that adorable little girl. like this little corner piece. I like that there. And her up here. Oh, this goes here too. So the flower covers up quite a bit of that label, but that's okay. I like the flower. And the flower is going to cover up part of that slot, but I don't really care. We'll just tuck it in over here. sweet. I could put two little girls in there. Well, <clears throat> that didn't glue down, so that's good. A little postcard, maybe something smaller. We have this. I think this come from came from Lindsay Zenor. I think I got it a long time ago, and there's a set of these. They're like, they kind of look like cigarette cards and they have a little word on a label and then a little button, but it, it's all digital, of course. But her shop is never more creations. I'll have to look and see if that's where I actually got them from. So I think that's going to have to be it for the stitch slats. My um, battery light's been flashing for a little while. So let me just show you what we did today as a recap. We did three of the sacks. This is with a die from Jilly Bean Soup or something like that. But I can't remember the company that actually makes the die. Um, Sizzix maybe? Anyway, I got mine at Hobby Lobby, and I don't think you can get it there anymore. But I made that one, and this one, which I really, really, really like. Uh, actually, I like them all. And this one. I think I probably will put a button on that. And then for the pockets, I made this. And um, 
I'll ink it up and it'll look better when it's all inked. And this one. So I hope you found some inspiration with these projects. And I hope you'll go check out Lorna's shop at Tailor Made Designs. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.